Hi, I'm Greg Fulford from the Fulford Group at Sotheby's International Realty here in San Francisco. And today I'm going to talk to you about the five most important tips for home sellers in today's market. Now we've just come out of the summer. Summertime generally is a little bit slower in San Francisco for real estate. And we're getting ready to launch into the fall market, which does tend to be busier and tends to pick up. And we are in 2023, August 2023, going into September. These are the tips that are important in today's market. Number one, this is the most important, work with a San Francisco experienced local agent. Someone that has sold a lot of properties in San Francisco that has worked in with both sellers and with buyers over several years that focuses on the local market here in San Francisco. That's really important. Someone like myself and my team, or there are 8,000 other agents here in San Francisco, there's definitely one that is the right fit for you. Number two, invest in property preparation. So when we talk about property preparation, we're talking about preparing and presenting the house so that the house looks at its best when you go to market. Uh, some of these improvements would be things like painting, changing light fixtures, refinishing hardwood floors, changing out old carpet, maybe doing some light landscaping. And the most important of these factors is professional staging. In San Francisco, it is crucial that you professionally stage your property for the market. Buyers are used to seeing properties staged. 95% of properties are staged here in San Francisco. If you decide not to, you are leaving a lot of money on the table. Okay, let's go. Number three, the third most important tip for sellers in today's market is price your property appropriately for the market. Now, in the past, over the last, say, few years, you could price your property at any price below value and you're going to get multiple offers and your property is going to be bid up over asking. The market is not like that now. And it's more important, more than ever, to price your property according to what the market is doing. Now, within San Francisco, we have different micro markets. So in some markets, it may be to price your property a little bit lower to generate activity. In other micro markets in San Francisco, it might mean pricing your property more at market value. Again, this is uh, something that you would talk with your real estate agent about. They can advise you on what's the proper pricing strategy. But one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to price your property too high. In today's market, where there's more choices for buyers, pricing your property too high will likely lead to a very long process where it's likely that you're going to have to reduce or dramatically negotiate your price down to get buyer activity. Okay, let's move on to number four. The fourth important seller tip in today's market is conduct free inspections on the property before you go to the market. Now, this is something we do for all of our listings. And when we say pre-inspections, we're talking about doing a general contractor's inspection and a termite inspection, and sometimes roof inspections, sometimes sewer lateral inspections, but doing them all up front before we launch to the market so that we can have these reports available to buyers when they show interest in the property. And this is beneficial in a couple of ways. One, knowing what is going on with the property puts any and all issues out on the table for everyone to know. So if a buyer is considering the property, there's no surprises with the condition of any defects in the property. The property has been inspected. The other thing that this benefits the seller is because the any issues are known up front, it's harder for buyers to negotiate over defects in the property or repairs once they get into contract. Because these items are, again, are out in the open and they've already been disclosed in these inspections, it's much harder for buyers to try to negotiate credits or to negotiate these repairs once they get into contract. And now we've come to number five, the last tip for sellers in today's market. And that is to be open-minded to the sales process. We're in a market now where the sales process may not go as quickly as it would have gone, say, two years ago when everything is selling within the first 
four or five days. The market is different. It may take longer to sell your property. And ultimately, you may have to negotiate with buyers. It's just, again, because we're in a market where there's more choices and the demand for homes is not the same as it was, say, a year and a half ago, be open-minded to how long it may take to sell your property and what the end result will be. Have you know set proper expectations for yourself. And those are the five important tips for sellers to sell your property successfully in San Francisco in today's market, the fall of 2023 season. If you have questions about the San Francisco market or about selling your home in today's market, please do reach out. Also, if you enjoy San Francisco real estate videos or San Francisco lifestyle videos, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm continuously putting out new videos on San Francisco real estate, market updates, and San Francisco lifestyle. Thank you for listening. I'm Greg Fulford, Sotheby's International Realty. I'm with the Fulford Group. Have a great day.